right, 18 minutes after 8 o'clock here on Morning Live. Now, loggerhead turtles have been classified as endangered and worldwide programs and initiatives are currently underway to ensure the survival of the species. The survival story of Yoshi, the loggerhead turtle, has been well documented over time. It started with the arrival at the Two Oceans Aquarium in Cape Town 20 years ago, up until a recent release back into the wild. Our producer, Linky Birman, and cameraman Trevor Pistorius gave us some lessons yesterday on snakes, but today they're looking into Yoshi. Let's take a look. It is difficult to imagine that this 183 kilogram loggerhead turtle was only the size of a dinner plate when she arrived at the Two Oceans Aquarium in Cape Town in 1997. On arrival she was broken and lost at an age of between three to five years. But with plenty of loving attention she has grown into a magnificent ambassador for her species and has enthralled thousands of visitors to the aquarium over the years up until her release. Yoshi is a was an institution at the aquarium. She was part of the family, she was part of the aquarium family, she will remain part of our family for generations to come. We all have Yoshi photos, we all have Yoshi memories. Loggerhead turtles live for between 80 and 100 years and reach sexual maturity between the ages of 18 and 30 years. So given Yoshi's current age, her excellent health and her display of certain behaviors, it was decided that it is time for her to be released back into the ocean. Difficult to release her with a heavy heart, but also with a very, very joyous heart, because really, this is where she needs to be. She needs to be out in the ocean. She needs to do what sea turtles do, uh, do. and this is, it's a bit, it really is bittersweet. After months of planning and waiting for the ideal weather conditions, preparations began for the big release. It was a decision that we didn't make very lightly. We actually thought about it very, very hard, um, did our research, uh, spoke to a lot of people. And it was time. It was time for Yasha to, to be released. So the release actually started the day before when we took her out of the ocean exhibit and we tagged her with a satellite tag. That was quite a long and lengthy process, so she was sedated during that time. And um, it was about a three-hour process. Yoshi, I think, will give us some really good insights into where these turtles go and how they, they function within the ocean ecosystem. But out in the big blue, Yoshi will face some daunting challenges. All turtles be, uh, face human threats these days. And we're looking at pollution, uh, plastic, we're looking at uh, sea traffic, so boat strikes uh, can happen. We're looking at things like long line fishing, where they put out hundreds of hooks every day and uh, it's baited hooks so it attracts all kinds of animals including loggerheads and leatherback turtles. So human activity I think at this stage is the biggest threat that Yoshi is facing. Yoshi was transported by boat to a release point 27 nautical miles off Hout Bay towards Cape Point. Female sea turtles always return to the beaches where they hatched to lay their eggs and this release point will give her the opportunity to follow her natural instinct towards her home range either up the east coast or the west coast of Africa. Come this way, watch your way. Okay, on this next one. One, two, two, three, three. Oh, yes, yes. Good. In the water she went and without looking back, she was free to explore the big wide ocean and find her way back home. Lingi Beerman, Morning Live, Cape Town.